is a look at the Tuesday, March 18th edition of the Herald Press. Um, Peter Weir, 22, uh, has been, uh, was charged with raping a female high school student on either November 17th or 18th, chose uh, 2012. Chose to stand trial um, in court on Monday today. Let's see, also in court news. Wait for my computer. Um, let's see, Huntington County Circuit Court. Judge Thomas Hake sentenced David DeWeese, 28, to one year in prison, one year on electronic monitoring, and another half year on probation on Monday mar morning for uh, charges of sexual battery. Uh, Wesley Fields, 32, is currently in the Huntington County Jail awaiting trial on charges of possession of a handgun by a serious violent felon and is now facing charges of battery as a Class C felony. According to a police report, he uh, punched another inmate in the face. And also in court news, um, Travis Watson, 23, has been charged with burglary as a Class C felony. Um, he was, has been charged with breaking into the Horace Mann Educational Center on around 10 p.m. Thursday. Uh, that's what he's charged with. So that's uh, a look at some of the court stories. If uh, For more information on those, check out Tuesday's paper. Also in tomorrow's paper, um, in uh, nearby Lagro, a band called Celtica came and performed last night for, yeah, last night, for um, St. Patrick's Day. It's at St. Patrick's Church. It was built by a lot of uh, Irish immigrants, so they thought it was a very fun way to celebrate their heritage. It was, um, yeah, so it sounded like a lot of fun. And there were several people from Huntington who, uh, who went over to Legro and uh, checked it out. Um, also, uh, Jeffrey Guy donated $250 today in memory of his father, who was, um, he, tra he trained a lot of uh, dogs for 4-H. He uh, Jeffrey donated this money to the Huntington County Sheriff's Department's canine program. On the Home and Garden page, we talked to uh, Dr. I'm sorry, Dr. John Regan about the, why it's important to brush your teeth. So check that out. And then also in sports news, Huntington North High School softball is gearing up for its season. Um, and it's hoping to get back to the state game after falling just a little short last year. They said, uh, the coach said there was quite a talented freshman team and, uh, you know, with their upperclassmen, looking forward to a good season. So, best of luck to them on, uh, on their season. And Huntington University Sports, the baseball team beat, uh, State University of New York Canton 14-13 to Sunday in Florida. And then the softball team beat Maysville State of North Dakota 8 to nothing on Sunday before losing to Valley City State of North Dakota 10-9 to that same day. Um, the baseball team still has a few more games, and I know the softball team still has about um, six more games? No, that'd be five more games. So so there's still a lot of them uh, play left for both the squads for, um, for their spring breaks. Anyway, uh, that's a quick look at the uh, Herald Press for Tuesday. We invite you to pick up a copy and read more.